In 1896, an approach for sizing sprinkler piping was developed and gained nearly universal acceptance. The fundamental idea was based on experiments where the flow of water through pipe was measured. It was evident that more water flow required a larger pipe diameter to minimize pressure loss. Without adequate water pressure at the discharge device, the water spray pattern would be lacking. After considerable empirical testing, the pipe schedule system was born. The piping engineer would determine or would be told what the fire hazard classification of the protected area was. It would be light, ordinary, or extra hazard. Each category had its own series of table entries determining the number of sprinkler heads that a pipe size could supply. For example, an ordinary hazard system would have had sprinkler heads located according to the sprinkler head water discharge pattern. This would determine the number and location of discharge devices. The sprinklers can't be too close to one another or they will spray each other and delay or prevent adjacent sprinklers from operating. Because sprinklers need to be close to the roof or ceiling to collect heat for activation and must compensate for structural and mechanical obstructions, often there is only one location that meets the code requirements. After the physical layout of the system is determined, the sprinkler head furthest away from the water source would be the starting point. Counting back means that the first two sprinkler heads would require a one inch diameter pipe. The pipe now is increased to one and one quarter inch diameter, which supplies one more sprinkler head. Starting at the fourth sprinkler head, the pipe increases to one and one half inch diameter. The table indicates up to five sprinklers can now be supplied and so forth. Many other design considerations are provided by NFPA, number 13, and FM data sheets. The sprinkler designer must consider the criteria for a properly designed system, including the maximum system area, sprinkler head discharge pattern layout, minimum system supply pressure, water supply duration, hose stream flow allowance, etc. Today, pipe schedule systems are seldom used in industry. They are more popular for residential systems. Under certain circumstances, they are allowed but generally not utilized because hydraulically designed systems prove to be more economical.